Here we have solving a rational equation that simplifies to linear, unlike binomial denominators. So we have to find the LCD, but we have to be careful when we're finding the LCD because our denominators have to be in their factored forms in order for us to determine the LCD. So this denominator is not in factored form. So if I wanna put this first denominator in its factored form, I do have to factor out the GCF of two and I end up with W minus six. This denominator is just a one and this denominator is already just the W minus six. So what do they have in common? These two have a W minus six in common. These two have the one in common. And then this one has the distinct factor of a two which neither of the other two denominators have. Um, here, what you wanna do is you don't wanna multiply this out. You want to leave it, but with your um, number written in the front. So one times two is just two, and we'll leave this factor like that. You don't wanna multiply it out because then it's gonna become harder to cancel later, okay? So leave it in its factored form when you do have binomials in the LCD. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite this fraction, but I am gonna use the factored version of this denominator. So the factored version was W two times W minus six. And when I do that, I have to multiply by the LCD over one times the LCD over one plus, or no, I'm sorry, equals times the LCD over one. I'm running out of space there, but that is two W minus six, okay, over one. So here, the twos will cancel and the W minus sixes will cancel. Here, nothing will cancel. And here, the W minus sixes will cancel. So what am I left with? In the first fraction, I'm just left with negative one over one, which is negative one, here I've got a bunch of stuff to multiply, so let's just multiply the positive two times the positive two for now, and then we'll multiply the W minus six later. And here we end up with eight times two, which is 16. And so now we can distribute that four, four W minus 24. Combine my like terms, and then move over the 25. So we get 4w equal to 41 divided by 4, and we get w equals 41 over 4, which will not reduce. So let's just make sure it won't make any of our denominators zero. So 2 times 41 over 4 minus 12, doesn't matter number it is other than it's not zero so it checks out in this one one can never be zero and 41 over 4 minus 6 is not zero so as long as it doesn't make any of our denominators zero this is the actual solution now let's try another one so first denominator is just w plus 5 you can't factor that second denominator you can factor. You can factor a 4 out and you get W plus 5. Third denominator is just a 1. So what do they have in common? They have the W plus 5 in common. What do they have different? They have the 4 different. And you could put the 1 in the common area or the distinct area. It really doesn't matter because it's not going to change that value there. So you still end up with 4 times W plus 5. So then that is going to get multiplied to every fraction. So negative two W plus five times four W plus five over one equal to negative eight, use the factored version, four times W plus five times the LCD over one plus three over one times the LCD 
over one. So then here the W plus fives cancel, here the W plus fives and the fours cancel, and here nothing cancels. So we're going with negative two equal to negative eight plus this times this times this. So let's multiply positive three times positive four. four. Or you can add so this becomes positive 12 w and positive 60 let me make sure yes 60 then we can combine those like terms over there so positive 12 w plus 52 and then i can um go ahead and move over the 52 we get 12 W equals negative 54, divide by 12, divide by 12, we get W equal to, let me simplify that fraction in my calculator, I get nine halves. So will nine halves, negative nine halves, make this denominator zero? I doubt it, but let's check. No, it's not zero. Will it make that denominator zero? Nope, it won't make that denominator zero. And one will not be zero. It doesn't just magically turn into a zero. So as long as this number, this solution, doesn't make any of the denominators zero, this potential solution becomes an actual solution to the equation.